Welcome back to Storytime at the Willow. I hope you enjoyed our last story. Here's today's. I Can Read With My Eyes Shut by Dr. Seuss. I love reading Dr. Seuss stories. I can read in red. I can read in blue. I can read in pickle color too. I can read in bed and in purple and in brown. I can read in a circle and upside down. I can read with my left eye. I can read with my right. I can read Mississippi with my eyes shut tight. Mississippi, Indianapolis, and hallelujah too. I can read them with my eyes shut. That's very hard to do. But it's bad for my hat and makes my eyebrows get red hot. So reading with my eyes shut, I don't do an awful lot. And when I keep them open, I can read with much more speed. You have to be a speedy reader because there's so, so much to read. You can read about trees and bees and knees and knees on trees and bees on threes. You can read about anchors and all about ants. You can read about ankles and crocodile pants. You can read about hoses and how to smell roses and what you should do about owls on noses. Young cat, if you keep your eyes open enough, oh, the stuff you will learn, the most wonderful stuff you'll learn about. Fish bones and wish bones, you'll learn about trombones too. You'll learn about Jake the pillow snake and all about Fufu the snoo. You can learn about ice. You can learn about mice. Mice on ice and ice on mice. You can learn about the price of ice. Nice ice for sale. Ten cents a pail. You can learn about sad and glad and mad. There are so many things you can learn about, but you'll miss the best things if you keep your eyes shut. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. You might learn a way to earn a few dollars or how to make donuts or kangaroo collars. You can learn to read music or play a hut set. You keep your eyes open, but not with them shut. If you read with your eyes shut, you're likely to find that the place where you're going is far, far behind. So that's why I tell you to keep your eyes wide. Keep them wide open, or at least on one side. I love that story and I hope you did too. Tune in next time for more stories by the Willow. Welcome back to Stories by the Willow. Today we're gonna continue with our Dr. Seuss theme and we're gonna read the yearbook pretty awesome dog on there, isn't he? Look at those big ears. My dog's here too, but he's sleeping. So we're going to get started. I hope you enjoy. Tick tock, tick tock. Ears, our ears, they hear a clock. Our ears hear water. 
drop, drop, drop. Our ears hear popcorn, pop, pop, pop. Ears, 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 ears. It's good, it's good to hear with ears. Toot, toot, toot. We hear a flute. We hear a ding, we hear a dong. We hear a ping, we hear a pong. We hear my sister sing a song. We also hear my father snore when my sister slams the door. Boom, 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 boom. Dum, dum, dum. It's good to hear a drummer drum. And sister blowing bubble gum. We hear hands clap and fingers snap. We hear feet tap, 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 tap. We hear a plane, we hear a train. It's good, it's good to hear the rain. Ears, ears, ears. We like our ears. It's very good to hear with ears. The end. What kind of things do you hear with your ears? Maybe sometimes things we don't want to. This was a great book and I'll see you next time in Stories by the Willow. Hey everyone. All right, our next one is, Are You My Mother? I think I'm going with the whole dog theme. I really like that. <laughs> All right, we ready? A mother bird sat on her egg. The egg jumped. Oh, oh, said the mother bird. My baby will be here. He, want, he will want to eat. I must get something for my baby bird to eat, she said. I will be back. So away she went. The egg jumped and jumped and jumped It jumped. Out came the baby bird. Where is my mother, he said. He looked for her. He looked up, he did not see her. He looked down, he did not see her. I will go and look for her, he said. So away he went. Down, out of the tree he went. Down, down, down. It was a long way down. The baby bird could not fly. He could not fly, but he could walk. Now I will go and find my mother, he said. He did not know what his mother looked like. He went right by her. He did not even see her. He came to a kitten. Are you my mother? He said to the kitten. The kitten just looked and looked. It did not say a thing. The kitten was not his mother, so he went on. Then he came to a hen. Are you my mother? He said to the hen. No, said the hen. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. I have to find my mother, he said, but where, where is she? Where could she be? Then he came to a dog. Are you my mother? He said to the dog. I am not your mother. I am a dog, said the dog. 
The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. The dog was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. Now he came to a cow. Are you my mother? He said to the cow. How could I be your mother? Said the cow. I am a cow. The kitten and the hen were not his mother. The dog and the cow were not his mother. Did he have a mother? I did have a mother, said the baby bird. I know I did. I have to find her. I will, I will. Now the baby bird did not walk. He ran. Then he saw a car. Could that old thing be his mother? No, it could not. The baby bird did not stop. He ran on and on. Now he looked way, way down. He saw a boat. There she is, said the baby bird. He called to the boat, but the boat did not stop. The boat went on. He looked way, way up. He saw a big plane. Here I am, mother, he called out. But the plane did not stop. The plane went on. Just then, the baby bird saw a big thing. This must be his mother. There she is, he said. There is my mother. He ran right up to it. Mother, mother, here I am, mother, he said to the big thing. But the big thing just said, snort. Oh, you are not my mother, said the baby bird. You are a snort. I have to get out of here. But the baby bird could not get away. The snort went up. It went way, way up. And up, up, up went the baby bird. But now, where was the snort going? Oh, 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 what is this snort going to do to me? Get me out of here. Just then, the snort came to a stop. Where am I, said the baby bird. I want to go home. I want my mother. Then something happened. The snort put the baby bird right back in the tree. The baby bird was home. Just then, the mother bird came back to the tree. Do you know who I am, she said to her baby. Yes, I know who you are, said the baby bird. You are not a kitten. You are not a hen. You are not a dog. You are not a cow. You are not a boat or a plane or a snort. You are a, baby, a bird and you are my mother. The end. That was a good story. And he met a lot of great friends along the way. And thankfully, then he found his mother. I hope you enjoyed the story. We'll see you soon.